anyways, today I'm doing the unboxing of everything that I got in December and that's a lot of things. So, let's get right into that. So, there's some brands, there's some letters for my friend, there's new Flovitory products and stuff keep falling. So, let's get right into that. Okay, I think I'll go in no particular order. I will start by what's on top of that and put it away and uh, yeah, we'll just see stuff. First of all, it's from Last Object. I had opened one. So basically it's called Last Round. Yep, Last Round. And it was a Kickstarter and I uh, bought a last tissue from them. And it's actually uh, handkerchiefs. In, in fabric instead of um, paper tissue. And now they have done like circle to apply uh, makeup remover or lotion or whatever. And even though the concept is very cool, it's actually, so this one I already opened, so I can tell you the review. Uh, I opened one to test and I've been having it for about a month. And it's so hard. It's supposedly super uh, ecological. Our rounds are made with recycled and reused water in a closed system. And because one last round package is good for 1000 uses, you'll save 10,000 liters. Pretty awesome, right? And that's not all. Our rounds are made from 100% renewable raw material and they're long lasting and home compostable with household waste. Which is good because sometimes they just say compostable, you cannot always put them with home waste. But you don't want to compost them, you want to reuse them and wash them. But they actually are, are so hard and even if you put your, like I have some kind of lotion, you don't want to put water before lotion, so meh, I don't know. The idea is very cool, but that's not very amazing, so I'm not going too much and they have a laundry bag to wash them and this was... Oh, that was the, the closing of the last tissue one. Yeah, okay. So, last tissue, go for it. Uh, we used so much less uh, tissue, uh, paper tissue, but uh, this one, not very convinced. Next. In December, I did a lot of coordinates with my uh, super fluffy bear ears hat. And so many people said, oh my God, I love it. Where did you find it? Last year, it said that already. And I could not find more. And this year, I found more. So I bought three different ones from AliExpress. And let's compare them and see if they're good. This one is not good already. Hmm, there's a free gift. Don't you think that those gifts from those things in China are so random? Okay, the dress I had before had that. It looks like it's plush, but it looks like it's so old and so already worn for a while. I don't know if it's just because it's bad quality or if it's supposed to look that way to look good. So this one I'm really not convinced. Ooh, sorry. Maybe it's not the best over that. It's cute, but it will never be as cute as the other one. Um, Let me grab the one. So this is the one I own. It's super soft, super, super cute. And this one, look next to it how it is. Ah, uh, not really. So far, not so good. Oh my god, I hope that you stay here because I have Angelique Pretty stuff, new super cool stuff from Fluffy Story, but yeah. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so because I'm waiting so long for stuff, I totally forget what I buy. The last haul I did was on Thanksgiving, so it's been a while back, and so I ordered that right after. Yay! Okay. So, you know Snow Priestess, uh, she has an Instagram, she's an amazing artist and she is actually the one who helps me edit my videos. So, if I look so good in videos, that's because of her. And she just released two pins and of course I had to buy those and they're amazing. Oh my god, I just wanted them and I wanted to support her. But I don't know if it's really my colors and if I will be able to add that to my coordinates. But maybe I'll put them on my bags because they're amazing. And also the two prints. Oh my god, they're so cool. So cool, so cool, so cool. I think this one for the, was for the contest of uh, 
baby. It's a wedding between two girls and you have uh, Kuma Kumia uh, during the wedding. That's amazing. And this is a card. Thank you so much, Tina. This is amazing. Yay. Okay. So now the level of stuff that I unboxed just rose a lot. I like to open things and I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm opening. What is this? Oh, finally. Oh my God. I bought a while back. I think it never arrived and I bought another one and I don't know if I bought a third one because I don't know. I think I had one. I had the other one like that. It's a clicker to um, use. It says with camera and Android and iOS. And so I had hoped that I could control my camera with that because my new amazing lens doesn't do the focus very well when I do selfies and so it's so annoying I can basically cannot take good pictures with a remote so so I needed a remote and this actually doesn't work with my camera and works with my phone so it's good if you need something to a remote for your phone it's like less than five bucks on Aliexpress maybe so that works well with a phone but I could not control the camera even through the phone. Anyways, and I bought this one. I think this one was maybe $27, which is still good, also on AliExpress. And it works perfectly with my camera. So now I can just and do amazing uh, selfies. Yay. So next, what's, oh, this one. I actually don't want to open it now because this is from Biblo Rose, it's a subscription box from uh, the US and actually two other subscription box contacted me and I thought I will do a full video with the three Lolita subscription. Sorry, I cannot say that. Subscription boxes. And so this one, Kira agreed that I will uh, unbox it later for this big video, more focused on subscription boxes. So you'll have to wait. Okay, so this is what I received from AP Paris. Basically, the guy sent it to me like that, like, handed out and I had to sign. And I was like, ah, but it's open. And what I ordered, Westerlin, I looked. But, I mean, what I ordered is cool, but uh, I ordered that with the discount code from the Angelic Pretty Tea Party and we could get a keychain, special keychain exclusive for that tea party event and that fell so I don't know if the person opening the package because it's been clearly torn um, so my super cute mask from Angelic Pretty and decided that maybe it's not good enough but the kitchen could do something or maybe he opened uh, or maybe it was torn I don't know and that uh, the kitchen being uh, heavier fell off I don't know but it was not there so I don't know anyways I have my uh, thing oh and I said you can go to the post office and uh, do a claim at the post office that you lost something but since the kitchen was a present it's written nowhere on any of the paperwork and the uh, uh, ticket, so I, that will be difficult to prove that it was in there. Anyways, so they said that uh, this mask is only decorative and is used to cover a second mask. So, I'm actually, okay, yeah, now I understand. I was actually wondering if it was because it was, they don't want to it's like technically not a protection mask like all the other ones, but you can see it's so, so thin. You can, can you see my hands through that? So that, yeah, obviously uh, I did not see it was that thin. I thought there was some paper on the back, uh, I mean fabric. So yeah, absolutely. This is just to cover another mask. And actually, I feel kind of bad because I do need, I, I do have some, but I do have some uh, pink mask. You need a pretty white or pink mask to do that because if, if you put a, like an ugly one, like the blue ones that we have here in Switzerland, under that, that would be so, so ugly, but it's so cute. I really loved the ribbon and everything. I wanted an AP mask and it has an AP tag. So I feel like a brand whore owning a mask cover which is so stupid because I have to use 
another mask and covering another fabric mask is stupid because my fabric masks are cute and using a disposable mask and putting that on top is so stupid I could have used a fabric mask first but it's amazing okay Glamnetic so I showed you once uh, before that I bought from Glamnetic I am so happy about the product and so they had a huge huge sale and my eyeliner was running out so I needed to buy more that remind me that I just did not do what I wanted to do so maybe we can just do it now to test it yeah so okay I bought this new Vakay lashes it's another one and actually the ones I had are called wispy the ones I had before are like uh, thinner here and thicker here and I wanted to try one that was equal everywhere and I feel that that is less flattering than the other ones but I wanted to try it and this is something new they have now what they called anchors and they have and I bought a full box of on the anchors because they were very cheap and um, I wanted to try that and so now the box that I had before did not have that so now you have small anchors that you can add under your own lashes to keep the lashes together and I want to review the eyeliner after that that actually is not that good and does not work that much so I'm actually and uh, the lashes that I'm wearing are actually lifting and I want to try these anchors now with you to tell you if it's any good or what so technically yeah that's what's hard okay it does exactly what the other ones that I had uh, from China before did so basically instead of clipping my lashes correctly the one in front and now I'm not even sure how I can remove that without removing the whole because it's this is a mess guys i think i will have to remove the full yeah full eyelashes to be able to separate that okay so the magnets are really hard because you leave it and it jumps together but the eyeliner that i had before was a liquid magnetic eyeliner and i had some kind of a pencil no, not really, like a brush. The texture was not that good. It kind of dried at some places. And I saw that now they had some pen, liner pens. So I wanted to try that because my liner was dead. And actually, turns out it's not even doing it so well. So maybe I should put more at the start. Because in the middle it was okay, but uh, on the two sides, the two uh, last magnets kept sticking out. So, basically, uh, they say you should put it when it's 80% dry. How do you know when it's 80% 80% dry? So my tip is to always start by the last corner, the outside corner, and go inside. Because I tend to, if you start inside, you will probably end up, like already I started outside and already I don't feel like my lashes go up to the to the total back here and yeah so I think I'll just apply a little bit more here okay so I only opened it today to review it to uh, test it now and tell you and not show you just what about but tell you if it's good Honestly, this is easier to apply than this and probably this will dry less, I don't know. And this has a weird texture and uh, it's harder to make it a straight line. But I feel like that hold the magnets better than this. Maybe I should put more or should put my um, lashes before or after, I don't know. So I need maybe more test. I'm not 100% convinced by this new uh, pen yet. I think it looks amazing. Uh, the application is amazing. I just need to figure out how to make it stick the best. The anchors, honestly! <laughs> I think it will be very hard to make them uh, work. I'll try again, but definitely 
magnetic lashes changed my life and I used to take like up to 45 minutes to not even be able to glue my lashes and now I do that in like five minutes with my regular makeup every time I do makeup so this is amazing. Honestly, Glamnetic does great quality and it's amazing. So go for it. I uh, just need to figure out how to use the new stuff. But don't go for the Chinese ones. I have a video where I tried the uh, AliExpress ones. Not good. Buy the real stuff. It's more expensive, but it's really good. This is a letter from my friend Enki. Let me see. I can show you. There are cute angels here and also... Also here, so many cute stickers. I don't want to break that. Merry Christmas! How sweet it is! I know it's already uh, 7th of January when I'm filming this, but hey! I'm not reading everything, but I hope that 2021 will be a great year with lots of Lolita meetups and fun. So far, I've seen only 7 days in 2021, but I would say that it is as shitty as uh, 2020 was. Anyways, fluffy holidays. Your friend Enki, stay healthy and happy. And she also added some roses stickers. That's also cute. Thank you so much, Enki. That's adorable. Okay, another card. Ooh, this one is from Marina. Look at that, how cute this is. And the stamp. Oh my god. Look at this stamp, how cool this is. Yay. Okay, so this is Marina K. Um probably everything instagram youtube and yay and oh my god so this is some ap washi tape and there's a kiki and a lala uh, sticker i feel so loved i love the little twin stars and i love ap oh my god this is amazing well, be sure not to break anything Happy holidays! Yeah, I'm opening everything from Christmas in January. That's fine. Oh, more stickers. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Marina. That's so sweet. So, this one says one necklace. Oh, yeah. I saw that on AliExpress and I thought it would be better than the necklace that I bought for the sweet pack, but again, kind of abandoned that ID. I don't know if I will keep working on that ID. Anyways, I thought this one would be maybe more sweet than the other one that I had that would be more classic. It's very cute. It's white and pink and it's actually stretchy. It's an elastic. That's cute. Very cute. Yay, from AliExpress. This one should be another hat. I was afraid of that. I tried to buy several different listings, but they all did look the same. I was kind of hoping to have a link to tell everybody, hey, this one is good. But okay, well, actually it's not the same. See like this one and this one is like white inside. So it's a different one, but it's the same bad texture so far. They're cute, but not as cute as the one I have because this one is so fluffy and so soft. But from far away, it looks nice. Also, there are more ivory and this one is real, real white. So it's less for... I use those for a really fluffy uh, winter coat in it, like white snow and stuff. And this one, maybe less, but they're still cute. And I think I will decorate them and sell them decorated. I was going to say, I do vans! Yeah, right! Like that would happen. I mean, maybe. At some point. And that's the third one. This one looks so fluffy. I hope it's not real fur. Let's see. Okay, no it's not. It's not. Don't worry. But it's like way better quality and like this one. Okay, so this one is totally different because inside it's lined in black. It's so big and so fluffy with tiny, tiny ears. And also it's still ivory. <laughs> with all those three, I'm still not convinced. This one is cuter and softer and maybe I have more uh, issues with sticking stuff on that, I don't know. But still not as cute as this one. Look, this one is, it's so cute. I don't know, it really doesn't work with my stuff here and my, yeah, the way I did my hair. But if you've seen any of my winter coordinates, you see how cute this is. Anyways, oh, by the way, today I tried Sweet OG. So this is why I have 
weird hairdo. What do you think? And I have cute pants. I'll put a picture of my full coordinates here. And yeah, I'm quite happy about how it turned out. This is my first doji cord that I did myself for myself. I did some stuff for my boyfriend, but it was never sweet. So I don't know. I don't even know what this is. Oh, yeah, I know what this is Ooh, in this. <laughs> I was confused by this. This is a sample of Idole L'Intense from Lancôme, Paris. Hmm. So this is really intense. You can see that. So this is my friend from France and I think I bought stuff from her. That's so sweet. Thanks a lot. So she said, uh, happy holidays, even though I know that you will open that later. You know me so well <laughs> that I will keep those for ages. And okay, so those tape, it's not washi tape, it's actually plastic tape, but it's so cute. It's like a candy cane, gorgeous. And it's an AP bag, oh my God. Thank you so much. Ooh. So basically, those wristcuffs are perfect for me because they're from AP and they're mint, pink and chocolate all together. And it's, yeah, it's very nice. That's funny because there's two kinds of uh, lace. This is a like embroidered lace in cotton and this is like chemical lace, they say. And the pink is very, very light, but still it's very cute. Nice. Um, the chocolate is a little bit darker than the chocolate that I usually wear. Ooh, I forgot about that. There's so many. Oh my god. I forgot that I bought so much. Basically, I wanted to buy the third thing and I asked, show me what else you're selling. And she was selling also those two clips. Uh, they are combs from Baby and they're so mint and chocolate. I don't have that much mint and chocolate accessories. So, and the wrist scuffs and this is what I wanted to buy and it still has the tag. Oh my god. This is the necklace that goes with the ice cream parlor dress and I wanted to buy it and it was instantly sold out. And so it's acrylic and glitter, and it's, it is a bow. It's so gorgeous. Yay. And it's pink, chocolate, and mint. <laughs> like basically everything in my wardrobe. So yeah, I think it will definitely work a lot. It could work so much with what I'm wearing now, actually. I love it. I don't regret buying it at all. Yay. Thank you so much, Astrid. Yay. I'm so glad I got all this. This less packages now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and more stuff. Yeah, at some point I think I did more hauls, but now I tried to do only one per month, but then it means a lot of things. What's this? Oh, I thought it never came, and it came. Okay, okay, I did not expect that. Well, okay. So, this is something from Claire's. Someone mentioned that, look, they have mint and pink earrings from Claire's and I saw already on the listing that it was not just mint and pink but all rainbow. Look at that, it came all squished so I don't know if I will be able to make them fluffy again because they're really not round and basically on the picture it looked Mint and pink, but I say they're more like, this one is almost all yellow. And this one has blue, pink and yellow. They're cute because they're fluffy and pom-poms, earring. But I don't know with what I would be able to wear them. I wanted to go buy them in store, but uh, even though it was open, I was like, I don't want to go to a store just for that. So I paid... 6.45 Swiss francs, which is maybe like six dollars and 7.99 in shipping, which is actually okay. And so shipping was more expensive than the earrings, but still it was a 14 francs for that, so that's still okay. But I don't know what I will do with that. We'll see. Next. Ooh, ooh this is from Lou Graves. Yay! Thank you so much. I recognized the sticker here on the back. That is his design. Cool sticker. It says necklace. Oh my god. I said I'm just a little with a sticker sheet and it sends me a necklace. It's crazy. Whoa. 
I've been testing making pendants that glow in the dark in more than one color at the same time. This is the first successful and I thought it suits you best. Merry Christmas, hope to see you sometime in the next year. Lou Graves and this card is amazing. So I think this is a card that he designed himself on both sides, yay. And oh my God. So basically I, th I think what I understand is that it turns out it's a color that's more for me. That's him, absolutely. Oh my God, that's so cool. Okay, it has one side pink and one side mint. So definitely it would match me more than you. Oh my God, thank you so much, Lou. Ah, and it's a herd and it's... So the thing it does usually is very gothic. So even though I appreciate the, the talent, it's not things that I could work with my wardrobe. But this is amazing! Oh my god, thank you so much! Ah, oh, that's so me, that's perfect! And that's cool because I can wear it as a choker or uh, as a longer necklace. And this is so cute. Yay, thank you so much, Lou, this is so cute! And the box is adorable with the stickers, also the coffin ones. So uh, I've seen him do resin accessories like this shape. And I was like, this is pretty, but I could never wear that with my wardrobe. So this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> this is a little bit weird. And I received this envelope empty because they forgot to seal it. And then I had, there's no like cinder. And I had no idea what this was until I got charged a second time for something uh, that was a recurrent thing. I said, oh, maybe that's that. And then I contacted him and said, is that your envelope? Is that normal that I did? And they said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. It uh, fell out and uh, there was ship another one. And it's actually fencing from Animal Crossing. So it's the crossing board, I think. It's a cute fanzine from them for Animal Crossing and I think it's adorable. I cannot wait to get it, but next time, I guess. And so now I'm unboxing Bruno Bellamy's design. And as always, it's too sexy to show here on YouTube. This is my favorite artist and I get prints each month because I follow him on his TP that is like Patreon and those are amazing. I love that. Super, super cute. Thank you so much, Bellamy. They're adorable. Yay, and so if you want to support my channel, I have a Patreon and a channel membership. So click just join next to subscribe. And if you're not even subscribed, do that now because this is free. And if you want to support uh, financially my channel, you can do that too, thank you. So this is from Paulina Cupcake Kamisawa and at some point she had a um, pop figure of uh, the Mandalorian. It says just a child because it was on the first season. We did not know that his name was Grogu yet. She was selling that and I was like, yeah, I'm taking it. And then I totally forgot to contact her for shipping payment and everything. So she actually shipped that to me and then I saw something coming from her that says toy and I was like oh my god I think I forgot to uh, contact you for that and you shipped that to me I, I think I had stuff to ship to her like the dental fanzine and so and said so, okay let me just add more stuff so we can trade and so we yeah I said I can pay for shipping uh, or I can send you more fluffed or stuff, which I did. Thank you so much, Paulina. And a gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas card that is all glittery. She said, I hope that you and Florian have a wonderful Christmas. I kind of forgot about Baby Yoda, but still want you to have him. So I totally forgot me too. So thank you so much, Paulina. I'm so happy we did that. And I'm so happy to have that figure of Grogu. How cool is he? Now it only leaves Fluffy door stuff to show you. So I have the new shoes, but one pair is in the basement and I was too lazy to go pick it up. So we'll only show you pictures, but it's pretty similar to this one. So this one is actually called the Momoko shoe and it was one of the winner of the contest that we did uh, last summer to find new shoes for Fluffy Tory. And actually the person winning it never contacted me back. So. If you design that shoe, 
congratulations, you won the contest. You are one of the winners and so you can also uh, contact me and get your free shoe for you because that was the deal. We would make the shoe that you, we picked and also the designer, the one who drew that, will get one for them in the color that they want and everything. So this is one of them. And what I like in my shoes is that they have the I don't know if you can see the Florida logo in gold inside of that, that's so cute. And they also have, maybe not all of them, yeah maybe, uh, the um, super soft memory foam sole inside, yeah. So this one, you can get in other colors of course, and we have a different one that, that the one that was too lazy to get, that is a cork bottom, like, and white. Basically you can get other colors, but it has a cork sole, this is another option. And we designed two other shoes, but I did not keep one for me. I shipped them all to the customer and basically I will show you pictures of course. It's the dream shoe and uh, it's so 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 cool. And you can change the wings on the back and actually the, the bow on the front to make a bow and angel wings or to make bat wings and bat bow in the front. And you can pick any color and the customer uh, chose uh, shiny colors but you can have regular PU leather if you want, or maybe glitter, that would be amazing in glitter, I guess. So if you don't see the option on the website, let me know and we can do something different if it's not mentioned on the website. Also, I want to remember that these shoes from Fluffitory, they are plus size, customizable, whatever you want. We just did a shoe in size 56, 52, I don't remember. Something huge. Basically we made a whole mold for somebody with very very big feet and so that they can have cute Lolita shoes with whatever size shoe they have. So this is something I'm very proud that we can do with Fluff Toy. So then we can also do any color, any if you want more bold, I suppose, whatever. Because all the shoes are made to order, uh, we can do that. Unless you want to buy the one that I have here in size 40 and maybe also size 40 the other one that I have in my basement. Yay, so very excited about that. Next things I want to show you is those masks I did for Fluffitory. I'm doing that at my place where I do the sublimation printing for my uh, sportswear. I've only worn one just to run back and forth to pick up a package, so I'm not very sure how they will let you breathe and everything. So I need to test them more before starting selling them. I just wanted to try them and see if they're good. They look pretty, they look easy, the, the shape is comfortable, but I want to be sure they are easy to breathe before selling them because I don't want to sell bad things to you. Now stickers. We have done this new sheet of stickers, uh, it's called Lolita Spirit and so basically it's a basic Lolita stuff references with some jokes. So smells like a cow spirit and not teen spirit. Keep on rocking with the rocking horse shoes, see you later, like with the sea, and a mermaid tail, and just my cup of tea, and you are magical. And this one, okay, I use these for the Christmas cards, and I have a full stack of sheets empty like that with the Soita. It's an Ita bag, so that's cool that writes so Ita on that, so like there's stickers, I love this pin, it's so cute. But I could never stamp a so Ita sticker to anyone because I don't want them to feel like I think they are Ita or anything. And so I talked to that with Mezzo and she said, yeah, but uh, it, it could be an inside joke with other people say okay yeah for you I will for your cards in the in the future I will uh, use that and something that at the time I am filming I'm not able to release yet but uh, since I will release the video after, I can show you now. So we have done a collaboration with The Com. The Com is a magazine, an online zine that is based in Japan, all about uh, community and uh, J fashion in general. And that's amazing. And um, they're really amazing people, amazing articles. And uh, they have uh, made a small profile on me also on the Hello, my name is, so uh, you can discover so many different people in the J Fashion community in their section. Other than that, they have photo shoots and uh, real, like, um, editorial articles, like a real magazine. Anyways, we have done stickers and yeah, their theme is uh, Polaroids. So we have done stickers and pins, and the pins are so cool. They're really, really amazing. 
and of course Mezzo designed that and yeah they're really really cool and they're less Lolita and more I would say Decora really more Harajuku and just a logo and it's all glittery and all rainbowy so yeah I was really excited to uh, collaborate with the comp because it's a really a cool project and I love working with other people doing cool stuff in the community so yay I know that you love seeing me unbox stuff because basically this is the video that works the best on my channel when I try to spend hours and hundreds of dollars to do action lolita or to test 15 different petticoats well, it doesn't do as well as me unboxing big boxes, so look here, you'll see more videos like that and see you on the other side. Thank you so much for watching and remember, everybody can recover. Bye bye!